In this video, I'm going to be talking about Neverware, which is a system that allows you to turn old computers like this one into Chromebooks. So I'm going to do everything from a restart up through uh, trying out some different apps, and we'll just watch it and so you can see how it performs. So while this is starting up, I'll tell you about this MacBook. It is a MacBook 1 comma 1. This is the oldest version of the white MacBook. Uh, these are from 2006. Uh, so these are actually older than what Neverware uh, claims to support. The, the oldest MacBook that Neverware supports is the 3 comma 1. Uh, so we're going to see a few things that don't quite work on this, but you're going to also see how incredibly fast it runs. Um, the startup takes a little bit longer than a standard Chromebook, uh, but once you're in the OS, it runs really great. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Grub. We're going to get a little Neverware splash screen. Uh, some other things about this laptop is that it has uh, only about one and a half gigs of RAM. Uh, Neverware recommends at least two. Um, and it's got an Intel Core 2 Duo processor. Okay, so it took us about a minute to get into the login screen. Oops. Okay, we're in. So check this out. Uh, first thing I'll show you is that these volume buttons work, which is nice. And brightness controls also function. Great. Um, if I close it, it will sleep. And open it back up. And it pops right open real fast. I'm going to open up my browser. And... This is running already faster than it would have if it was running 1068, I think. Um, and I pulled up this video so you guys can see how well this runs. Ready? So this is a slow-mo guys video. Let me pause this. So this is running in HD. This is 720p. This is a great test to see uh, kind of what the limits are of what this thing can do. So you saw how quickly it loaded up the video and how quickly uh, it started playing in HD. If I bump it up to 1080p, you see it staggers just a little bit at first, but then it picks up. And then if I bump it up again, now we're over HD, we're getting into like that 4K territory. And now it starts to stutter quite a bit. Uh, if I were to go up even further, you'll see it, it it's pretty slow. So it's not able to kind of process all of this video. Uh, but, you know, this doesn't even have an HD screen. So it's not like that's going to be a limiting factor for most folks. Um, I'll show you something else that's kind of interesting. Uh, again, I was going to mention the specs on this thing. So this is COG. This is used for seeing specs on a, on a, Chrome, on a Chromebook. Um, and it tells me, okay, we do have a Core 2 Duo. I had that right. Um, it's got less than 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, this is kind of funny for a Chromebook. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, wait. Here we go. Uh, so here's something funny to see on a Chromebook, which is... the amount of hard drive space left. You have 130 gigabytes of hard drive space to run with on this thing, which is kind of funny. Uh, I'm going to go and open up Drive. And just, you guys can see how how quickly this is kind of flying through everything. Here we go, we got a new Drive presentation. Uh, this is a test. And there's 
pretty much no lag on this stuff. And I'm going to add flying away. And add an image. So let's see. We'll do a little image search. Get something going fast. Because we are moving pretty fast right here. So this is going to work great for doing presentations. And I'm going to add another slide. Do one more of those. Here we go. And uh, let's just make this a little, let's make this a little fancy. Let's put in some transitions. So we'll fade it, apply, and here we go. Let's present. So you can see this works really quickly when I'm within Google Apps. We'll allow that. Now, one thing that's not working, uh, you can see if I go to add an image and take a snapshot, the camera doesn't work on this one. Um, again, this is a this is a MacBook 1.1. One, one. Uh, it's the oldest MacBook. These are from 2006, so you do lose the camera functionality. I believe the microphone does work on this. Um, but if you have slightly newer MacBooks from like 2007 or 2008, uh, then I think your camera should work on that. Uh, so as you can see, uh, this is just blazing through kind of anything I throw at it. If I go to Neverwhere, uh, Neverwhere is basically going to turn these old devices that are probably ready to be junked into a pretty usable Chromebook. And there are a lot of ways you can use these. You can use them in the classroom for research and writing. You can use them as like, like a kiosk uh, near your front desk if you want people to do a sign-in sheet or you want them to, uh, or if you just want to play, a, maybe, a, you know, have a Google Slides presentation running all day with information about your school. Um, this is really uh, quite speedy compared to what these things looked like. Uh, you can't update these anymore on... Uh, you can't update update these anymore on uh, on Mac OS because they're you know they've aged out of any updates, but they they are really easy to manage. Uh, they're going to automatically update themselves just like any Chromebook. And if you wanted to pay for the extra um, ability to enroll them in the management console, then you can get some additional features um, like being able to control them the same way you control your other Chromebooks. But I think this is an awesome way to reuse our old devices in our schools.